here in Odessa and Midland, but if you're ever wondering, it seems like the rain kind of goes around Midland and Odessa on purpose. You're not alone. We get this question a lot, so I set out to find some answers in this special report. This is an ABC Big 2 News special report. West Texas is a wonderland. There are a lot of interesting weather patterns here, but not all of them are as they seem. For example, the rain. A lot of people are wondering, does the rain go around Odessa and Midland? Sometimes it seems as though there's a dome or a bubble right over the city. But is there really a bubble? And what would cause something like that? I need answers. So we went to the National Weather Service to find out. This is Chris Stickney, a meteorologist at our local NWS office who knows all about the local weather patterns. We asked the direct question and we got a direct answer. Uh, the infamous Midland bubble, as much as we like to think that it exists, doesn't exist. But how do we know that? Is it really as simple as a yes or no answer? So uh, around, around the, the Midland Odessa area, we see about 13 to 14 inches of rain. We know from decades and decades worth of data that, you know, over the course of a year, Midland gets so much rain per year. Might be a little less than normal, might be a little more, but no matter what, you're going to get about that amount of rain over the course of the year. So why is it that sometimes it only rains in half of the city? But one of the big features is the dry line. That's what uh, drives a lot of our weather during the spring and summer. They've probably heard you talk about it. They've probably heard us talk about it. Uh, and that's what leads to the sort of isolated or scattered nature to showers and storms that might end up missing you. Uh, or hitting it. And we have a lot of ways to verify where the rain is falling through different data collection methods. We use the data from um, an organization called Coco Ross. Um, and what they do is they have everyday people. They don't have to be meteorologists, just people who are interested in the weather. Uh, they put one of these four inch rain gauges in their backyard uh, or in their front yard, wherever that is a nice open space uh, and they send in their rain data every single day. That's right. Even you at home can sign up to get one of these gauges. If you wanted to be able to have your own four inch rain gauge in your backyard, you could go to um, cocoross.org, uh, C-O-C-O-R-A-H-S dot org, C -O -C -O -R -A -H -S um, and you'd be able to sign up there online. So there you have it. Midland and Odessa actually see a very predictable amount of rain per year, according to the data. And if it feels like that rain always goes around you... It's a matter of, of just, like, space. You know, you're not in the right place at the right time. Uh, you know, your house got missed, and it's one of those kind of facts of life. Uh, but wait another day or two. Uh, if rain is in the forecast, you'll, you'll probably get it. Uh, it will happen eventually. Words to the wise, though. It will happen eventually. And that's the nature of the beast here, that rain is hyper-localized out here where things seem to be very flat, driven by a lot of heat. But, yeah, it will come eventually. We're no Seattle for sure, but Indeed, yeah. uh, love the report, Chase. Thank yeah, you. Chase, that was fascinating. The funny thing is I can imagine a lot of people come up to you and they are almost mad that they didn't get rain. Like, oh, the yeah. rain bubble is real. Oh, it? yeah. Oh, it happens a lot, yeah. And, and you know, you may see a hyper-local bubble over your house, for example, during a particular rain event, but on the next one, hopefully that bubble moves around, changes places. All right, thank you for the report, Chase. Thank you. Thanks, Chase.